This Jack Daniels bottle looks really nice. Let's see if we can make it look even better. This was actually an idea from some subscriber a long time ago. He asked if I can do a vivarium, eternal vivarium inside of some, some other bottle. I don't remember which one. And just recently I remember that. And I have this bottle of Jack Daniels. And it is really iconic. So let's see if we can turn this into a successful everlasting vivarium. Please drink responsibly. But first I have one, one quick thing. It is from subscriber. It says, hello, my name is Marine. I'm 25 years old and I'm doing a master's degree in ecology in France. I follow you on YouTube for a while and I think you're doing great work. I'm contacting you today to ask for a helping hand. I'm going to Hong Kong to make an inventory of arachnids in Maipo Reserve. We are three students from this project and we, are, and we have to set up a kitty. I don't know what kitty is. I don't know about small cats, but I don't think they are referring to that here. <laughs> if you could talk about our project to help us realize it, it would be great. I will always support scientific projects, especially the one that involves arachnids. The least thing I can do is to tell you about it and if you're interested in something like that, I will link the page in the description so you can check it out if you are up for those kinds of stuff. And to you three students that are going to Hong Kong, good luck with your work and if you find something cool, make sure to send me a picture. Now let's do this. First there is some whiskey inside and I can tell you I really don't like Jake Daniels. The taste is really not my thing. So I can't drink it now and it certainly would be a shame to just throw it away. So I have this vodka bottle or as you Americans would say vodka and I can use it to store the Jake Daniels. There we go. Now the ingredients that you will need. I mean that we will need for this project. The bottle itself will be the enclosure, of course. Now next, for the drainage layer, I will use the rocks or how are they called? Gra gravel. So on the bottom, gravel. Then you need some sort of mesh that will go on that layer of gravel. It will divide the gravel from the substrate. Then for substrate, I will use charcoal. Spagnum moss, some cocoa fiber, orchid barks and of course dry leaves. Those are the ingredients that I use in all of my enclosures, I mean vivariums where I have live plants and high humidity. Then in that substrate you need to add some cleanup crew and you know we have springtails, isopods and I think that I will put millipedes that I received from Jessica and Arthur if they are still here alive are they here's one and the second here is third i don't remember if there were three or four but i think i should put like two inside i don't want to overdo it though and of course we'll put some plants and some twigs and cork barks i don't know we will see exactly i was thinking that i should put this inside but then i remembered how will i get this through this small opening can do but first what we need to do we need to clean the bottle and we need to remove the labels thankfully jack daniels have a really iconic shape of bottle so even without the label you will easily tell what bottle is this so let me clean that that was easy but man the bottle looks really nice even though it's not perfectly clear i think it will work out really good it would be funny to break it now. But I'm too good. Too much skill. Look at that. Look at that. You can even see me. I should be a bartender. Want some cocktail? <laughs> Let's do this. Gravel. I need something else. I need something to funnel the things inside. The first layer. Drainage layer. <laughs> I think that will be maybe even too much. Yeah, definitely too much. Okay. Now second thing, I need this cut to size. So 
So as I said, this will separate the substrate from the drainage drainage layer because the purpose of the drainage layer is when you have too much moisture in your substrate that will make the substrate soggy and it will go bad but if you have a drainage layer then that excess water will actually drain into this drainage layer and your substrate will be a-okay I hope that I will get the sides right because once I put it inside I'm not sure if I can take it out <laughs> But I need to take in account that, that this is bigger than inside. Let's just see. And hopefully I can take it out if needed. Where are my tweezers? Tweezers! Tweezers! Oh. Oof. This will be hard to do. A bit bigger than... It should, but once the substrate comes in, it will push it down, I hope. Let's mix the substrate. I will mix it in here. So, dry leaves, sphagnumus, some orchid barks, charcoal and cocoa fiber. I maybe need a bigger box to mix this stuff. This should be just about right it is nice and airy you don't want your substrate to get compact because when it gets compact then some stuff with air i mean it becomes i mean the lack of air and the point is it needs to be airy and water needs to go through it easily there we go i like to have all the ingredients in these boxes it feels like i'm having a cooking show <laughs> Let's get all of this inside. This could be fun. Oh, this will take a while. I can already see that. Planting a plant through this small opening will be really challenging. And we like challenges, right? I mean, all of you probably enjoy to see me struggle, so this will be a joy for you. Let's compact it a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be, I think, enough substrate. I dislike this. It doesn't look good. Let me try and push it. I can't really get it to go down is a bit too wide but we will just use this as a front side where it's not exposed as much and maybe with time it will settle down so now the planting i have these two plants and in my gecko enclosure setup i saw a few comments asking what are the plants i mean what are their names for this one i have the name tag it's this but for this one i sadly don't have it but I will link you a video where I unboxed these plants together with some other so you can search the video and find the exact plants and I think I even in detail write the names. I would like some bark inside first, something that could fit through this hole or twigs or should I first plant? No, this is considered the hardscape and you always do hardscape before planting but this is not a standard situation. I didn't really consider this opening, this opening. Oh my god, this is so hard. How will I play? <laughs> I don't have control over this. Yeah, just stick it in. Maybe add this stick. Don't break the... Okay. Now I need to break apart this plant and take only a small piece of it. Yeah, excellent. Now to be really gentle. <laughs> I feel so hopeless and helpless. Oh my God. I have no idea what I'm doing. 
but I'm doing something. And now a bit of these guys. I did something. <laughs> I think we are set. These cork barks I put inside really have no purpose, but it is what it is now. We have plans now to add the springtails and isopods. And no, now when I look at the size of this enclosure, I really don't think that I should put the millipedes inside. This is really small. Springtails, look at them. I don't really need a lot, just, just a bunch. Okay, and now the isopods. Here are the bunch of isopods. I will handle this later. It looks all right, but if the plants don't die, with time everything will be covered in plants and then it will look awesome. Otherwise, this is really small space to do something. Look, one isopod and here is springtail. I will crush some dry leaves and put it, at least try to put it inside. This project didn't really turn out as I expected it to be, but at least I learned something. And in the future I want to do a bunch of projects like this. And it will be fun to see how this enclosure will develop. You can expect regular updates on Instagram and probably I will show it in a video if it doesn't die in like a week or two. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Now to add some water. Oh, maybe I can clean with water. Oh, it works. <laughs> nice, I cleaned it a bit. And I didn't really said how this works. You add water. You close it off and you put it somewhere in front of your window where it will have enough light. And in a nutshell, this should act as a closed ecosystem. Water is evaporating, then condensating on top, falling down again, and that way it circles. The plants are growing because they have the sun, they have water, they have everything they need. The leaves that die, it goes into the soil where it decomposes and enables plants to grow even more. Circle of life. So. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to thumbs it up and comment something if you want to support this channel even more. There's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday, so see you again soon. Bye bye. Sorry. Bye bye. <laughs>